what should we do? Let me list quickly what should not be done. One, routine anti-Modism. There is a lot of anti-Modism in this country. All of us are given to that. I'm also given to that once in a while. सुबह सुबह अखबार पढ़ते हैं लगता है कि अच्छा किस चीज पे अटैक कर दे किस पे ठीक कर दे बहुत फॉरेन जाते हैं अच्छा बहुत फॉरेन जाते हो अपने आप को क्या समझते हो यहाँ के मिनिस्टर हो या फॉरेन के मिनिस्टर हो यही बात दूसरा करता तो हम अप्रॉड कर रहे होते लेकिन क्योंकि ये कर रहे हैं इसलिए हम इसको अपोज करते हैं हम तो कर लेते हैं लेकिन बाहर लोगों को लगता है एज समन सेट टू मी अरे भाई आपका तो धंधा ही है इसको अपोज करना That is how we look outside. Please remember that. इनका तो धंधा ही है अपोज करना कोई काम नहीं है सुबह सुबह उठ के सोचते हैं मोदी को कैसे अपोज किया है सॉरी दिस वॉन्ट वर्क इट्स नॉट ए गुड पॉलिसी एनी वे एंड इट वॉन्ट वर्क सेकेंड सिंपल ट्राइंग टू गैदर एवरी वन दैट हैपन्स टू बी अगेंस्ट द रूलिंग पार्टी इसको बहुत बड़े बड़े नाम दिए जा सकते हैं लेकिन ये ऑपोजिशन यूनिटी का जो खेल है कि यू हैपन टू बी अगेंस्ट द पर्सन आई एम ट्राइंग टू अपोज सो यू आर माय फ्रेंड बहुत कुछ ऐसा हो रहा है इट हैज शॉर्ट टर्म बेनिफिट्स इन द लॉन्ग रन इट डजेंट वर्क इफ your only and only intent is to somehow alter the result of the 2019 lok sabha election then it may have limited benefits it may i have doubts but we can talk about it. but if the object is to take on the onslaught on the foundations of this republic then this won't work agar aap har tarah ke hindi mein kehte hain bhanmati ka kunba joda कहीं की ईट कहीं का रोड़ा भानुमती ने कुंबा जोड़ा सो गैदर एवरी वन हैपन्स टू बी अपोज टू दिस फेलो दैट आई वॉन्ट टू अपोज द रिजल्ट इज दैट यू लुक सो अनप्रिंसिपल्ड एंड देर इज नो मॉरल ग्राउंड ऑन विच यू कैन स्टैंड एंड इन दिस मॉरल बैटल इफ यू डू नॉट स्टैंड ऑन ए मॉरल ग्राउंड दर इज नो होप इन हेल्थ दैट यू कैन डू एनी third what should not must not be done is to distance ourselves from popular culture ye baat pata nahi kitni main samjha paunga is stage pe baad mein main is pe kuch kahunga hota ye hai main ek dusra vakya leke aapko samjhata hu I remember 6th December 1992. I was living in Chandigarh those days. Used to teach in a university. For those of you who've seen the city at some stage, I found it so suffocating that city. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's gentrified nature. I found so suffocating that I used to live outside the city in this tiny little place, which was. One degree above a slum, but several notches below a respectable colony. So it was a working-class colony in Chandigarh called the Dumajara. Six December 1992 happened. I didn't know how to react. Like many fools, I thought nothing would happen to Babri Masjid. A day drama, we do one day drama, and we will go. No difference will be made. but actually demolition took place and i thought this was this could well be the end of india as i had seen it i went to my neighbors this was sort of curfew in the city sare desh mein kai shahron mein curfew lag gaya tha so curfew in the city so i go to my neighbors who are my neighbors ek tange wale mere neighbor the ek suar palte the wo mere neighbor the ek kahin pe ऑफिस में पी थे वो मेरे नेबर थे तो सबसे मैं जाके कहा कि देखो कितना बुरा हुआ उन्होंने कहा प्रोफेसर साहब बड़ी इज्जत करते थे प्रोफेसर साहब आके हमारे बीच में रह रहे हैं 
कहते प्रोफेसर साहब राम जी का मंदिर यहाँ नहीं बनेगा तो इंग्लैंड में बनेगा क्या माई लैंग्वेज ऑफ लिबरलिज्म हैड नो टेक लिबरलिज्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन I wanted to say this is a violation of the sacrosanct commitment made to the Supreme Court of India. Well, Professor Sir, in England, will it be? What will it be? Or where will it be? What will it be? What will it be? I didn't know how to respond to that. And of course, there was something in me which said that look, which which wanted to rebel against this and say, if this is what you believe in, this country is doomed. Next morning, I found an article in Jansatta. It was a front page editorial written by Prabhash Joshi. That article simply said, "Maryada Purushottam ki Maryada Purushottam ke naam par kalank." That what happened in Ayodhya yesterday is a blot on the name of Lord Ram. it simply narrated incidents from lord rama's life and every para concluded by saying what happened yesterday was opposite of this so that gave me the language to speak to them and that's a lesson i've not forgot i xerox those days sort of you took xeroxes i made some 200 xeroxes distributed it to people not that they got convinced but at least i could speak to them so the important thing is never never to lose that thread of conversation with ordinary people the day you lose it then you should take visa and go somewhere else <coughs> the only way of doing democratic politics is never to lose faith in the people even when we disagree most violently with them even when they are sanctifying things which are most horrendous we have to speak to them and in order to disagree with someone we need to continue that thread of conversation this is what brings me to what is to be done there are lots of immediate battles that i wouldn't speak at length about there are three critical arenas right now in the country where battles are on some very courageous people are fighting those battles those battles are worth defending joining fighting for universities media judiciary these are the last three places left in this country where some battle for autonomy can still be waged I do not talk about universities because I happen to be in university. I must confess my general opinion about what's happening in this university in the country in universities in this country is very dim. The manner in which the higher establishment of our university system has surrendered is shameful to say the least. Pure desh पूरे देश में हो रहा है जैसे हिंदी में कहते हैं ना बिछ गए सब बिछे पड़े हैं सामने हम देर यूनिवर्सिटीज वेयर इन ऑर्डर टू डिसाइड हु यू शुड इनवाइट फॉर ए नॉर्मल सेमिनार ऑन इंडो नेपाल रिलेशंस यू हैव टू सीक वाइस चांसलर्स परमिशन एंड दैट इज पॉलिटिकली वेटेज दिस इज व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन दिस जुडिशियरी में क्या हो रहा है मीडिया में क्या हो रहा है मगर तीनों जगह अभी स्ट्रगल बाकी है तो ये स्ट्रगल लड़ने की है बहुत बड़ी लड़ाई है लेकिन ये डे टू डे स्ट्रगल है इसलिए मैं इस पर बहुत बोलूंगा नहीं अभी हो सकता है हमारा 60 परसेंट टाइम इसी में लगे लगाना चाहिए लेकिन उस पर सोचने की बात नहीं है स्ट्रगल आपकी आंख के सामने है आप लड़ रहे हैं लड़ना चाहिए मीडियम टर्म में क्या स्ट्रगल इन द मीडियम रन मीडियम रन वुड मीन नेक्स्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स दर टू बिग सोर्सेज ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस if we want to reverse this onslaught on the idea of indian republic the two strength the two real sources of resistance right now are farmer struggles and 
the struggle of the youth. I do not mean to underestimate all other struggles. I don't, I'm not saying there are no other struggles. But for various reasons, which I cannot go into right now, politically, these are the ones which are going to make difference. Desh ke kisano mein aaj jis kisam ki bechaini hai aur jis kisam ka daba hua gussa hai wo is desh ko bacha sakta hai. Gussa kai bar baat khub surat cheez hoti hai. Wo gussa bacha sakta hai. Aur jab universities mein mere jaysay safed bal wale professoran ko sarkar apne anguthe ke niche daba ke rakhe hui hai यूथ को दबा नहीं पा रही है उनको अंगूठे के नीचे रखती और फिसल के बाहर निकल जाते हैं दीज आर द टू रियल सोर्सेज ऑफ होप इन दिस कंट्री वेन आई लुक एट द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन मंथ्स वेन आई लुक एट द नेक्स्ट टू इयर्स दीज आर द टू सोर्सेज दैट आई लुक फॉर वट्स हैपनिंग देर एंड दीज आर द टू स्ट्रगल्स वर्थ ज्वाइनिंग अगर कुछ भी करना है मैं बहुत दोस्तों को कहता हूँ इधर उधर की चीजों में वक्त जाया ना कीजिए दीज आर द टू स्ट्रगल्स विच शुड बी पोलिटिकली सो समन से इज वट अबाउट दलित स्ट्रगल ऑफ कोर्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट इट विल चेंज द शेप ऑफ बोथ दीज द फार्मर्स मूवमेंट हैज टू बी ए दलित फार्मर्स मूवमेंट द फार्मर्स मूवमेंट हैज टू कीप वेमेन फार्मर्स इन द फ्रंट बट पोलिटिकली दीज आर द टू बिगेस्ट होप्स फॉर आर रिपब्लिक इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मंथ्स But I want to look beyond 20 months, because, as I said, the challenge to the republic is not an accident. It is not that just a bad accident happened in this country in 2014, and let's forget it. Tick tock, hoi jai. Unfortunately, that's how much of the opposition is reacting. That's not true. There's something much deeper here, and in order to take on that deeper thing. there are three long term battles that we have to take on three arenas need to be recovered and we are where we are we are in this sorry state today because we have lost these three battles unfortunately these three battles cannot be won in the next 15 months cannot be won in the next 2 years maybe it's at least next 10 years doesn't matter who is in power doesn't matter who in 2019 this challenge is here to stay and we have to fight these three battles basically we need to recover the legacy of nationalism we need to recover something of our religious languages we need to recover traditions we have lost all these three battles in the last 50 years and it is because we lost these three battles that we are in this situation where those who did not shed one drop of blood for the freedom of this country can claim to be the the, the inheritors of nationalism in this country those who have you know, my blood boils when i think of it you know there were days i still i spoke to someone in gujarat the other day And he said, बेटा और मैं नहीं जानता मेरे पिताजी ने कहा था इन लोगों ने गांधी की हत्या की है इनसे कभी छुपना मत इन दिस वॉज द डे इन दिस कंट्री एंड टूडे दे कैन क्लेम टू बी इनहेरिटर्स ऑफ नेशनलिज्म ऑफ दिस कंट्री वॉट ए शेम नॉट ऑन देम शेम ऑन आस वॉट हैव वी डन टू दिस नेशनलिज वी आर द प्राउड शुड हैव बीन द प्राउड इनहेरिटर्स of one of the most open liberal nationalism of this universe our nationalism is not european nationalism it is not racist nationalism it is not inward looking rational nationalism it is not jingoist nationalism our nationalism is when someone who composed our national anthem thought nationalism was a very bad idea he could write a book against nationalism and we remember him as the greatest nationalist icon from indranath tagore he wrote against nationalism yet he is our greatest national icon we are inheritor of the most liberal the most rich the most 
open-ended nationalists in this universe. And we've given up on it. On religion, I really think, I honestly think, I know there are many friends who disagree, and please express your disagreement. I think giving up on languages of religions, not taking religion and religious languages, not taking religious beliefs seriously, is one of the cardinal sins of secular politics in this country. We are guilty, we are criminals. I do not say religion. This country is proud inheritor of several religions. All of them are our religions. But tell me, what is it? What is it that I wish to say as a feminist for which I cannot invoke Basavanna? What is it that I wish to say as a socialist for which I cannot invoke Nanak? It's there in my tradition. It's there in these religions. By not taking religion seriously, we have reduced secularism to the belief of the atheist. An ideology of atheism has a place in this country, has a legitimate place in this country, but an ideology of atheism cannot rule this country, cannot rule the hearts and minds of this country, can rule, the, they can be the ruler of this country. But you really need a much deeper engagement with religion. And it is because of non-engagement with religion, because of non-engagement with Hinduism, I will name a religion. It's non-engagement with Hinduism which has resulted in one of the worst crimes being perpetrated in the name of Hindus. We are guilty. And finally, traditions. I've partly covered it here. But dealing with popular culture and traditions, unfortunately, beginning with languages, Those people like us that I'm addressing here today are trapped in English language. Likhte bhi English mein hai, padhte bhi English mein hai, sochte bhi English mein hai. Is desh ke so bade intellectuals se agar mein pooch loo, when was the last time you read a full book in any language other than English? When was the last time you wrote one full page, one A4 size page? in a language other than English. I think that would disqualify about 80 out of 100 top intellectuals of this country. Desh ke 98% log, 99% log jo bhasha bolte hain, bhasha aap bolte nahi hain. Aur phir aap sochte hain ki log aapki baat kiyo nahi sun rahe hain? Hey, aap England mein ja ke French bolna shuru ki jiye. I mean, this is... What's happening in India is classic Russia of the 19th century. The Russian elite, as you know, used to speak French. They would speak Russian. And they wondered why these people don't quite understand them. Honestly, this is the case with much of the secular, liberal, progressive elite of our country. They are so cut off. Na to unki bhasha sunte hain, na unki bhasha padhte hain, na unki bhasha likhte hain. So beginning with language, but language for me is not literally language, Hindi, English, Bengali and so on. It's